So, you want to play Rain. I got you. So Rain's going to be one of the better zoners in this game. And with his staff and his water magic, he does a great job of controlling basically all parts of the screen. So first we'll get into his special moves. <clears throat> the first one's going to be Water Beam. So Water Beam is a pretty standard beam. It hits full screen as his projectile. He can charge this, right? He charges a little bit more. It will do more damage and it leaves him in a restand. So I can do things like this. And then kick him to the other side and kind of do what I want. The issue with it is that it does have quite a bit of startup. It's 34 frames. It's not very quick. And if you meter burn it, it does more damage and it knocks them back full screen, which is where you want the opponent anyway. So then Dombak 1 is upflow. So this is going to be like an anti-air projectile. Um, it works in combos as well. So you could do things and, you know, it still will hit. I use this rarely, honestly. I don't. If I'm going to anti your people, I'm just probably going to down two or I'll do, I don't know, something else. I don't normally use this um, unless they're far away and like I know that they're in a, in a spot where I can hit them. And if you meter burn it, it does more damage, but it also acts as a launcher, which is pretty cool because then off of this, I can do things like this. It is unsafe, both versions. So be careful. You don't want to do it in their face. And we have Watergate. So this is kind of his most complicated mechanic. But I will stress that it's not essential for you to learn how to use this in order to play this character. I've been playing him for a little bit now, and I rarely use this. I feel like it's a very gimmicky thing. Um, I, I wish it like worked with other things, and now I might experiment a little more. But essentially, he puts down a portal, and I could teleport to it using Watergate teleport. So I just teleport to the portal itself. If I could set, I could set down two of them, right? So it could be in the air, whatever. And I, whenever I teleport, I will teleport to the latest one. We'll do this and then here. So then if I just do the normal teleport, it's going to teleport to that one. So you can set two down and teleport to the oldest one. It's a different input, but still works the same. So one of the cool things that you can do with this is obviously other than change your positioning, uh, I'm sure you could use it in combos. I haven't figured it out, but when you have two portals here, you meter burn it, you get a mid hitting projectile it goes full screen. So I can put this here. And then put, I don't know, like all the way over here. And then it's going to hit no matter what. The portal, the other portal could be off screen. It won't matter. You could also do this in the air. So if I do something like this. And then, you know, just a little basic thing for you. You guys to like kind of understand how it works. Then he's got Geyser. So Geyser is going to be your combo ender for like 99.100,000% of the time. Uh, he just does these two little bubbles. This has a couple of versions. So it's got the regular version and it's got the far version. Uh, and if you, this is going to be his reversal. When you meter burn it, he has armor and he does a little bit more damage. Then he's got water shield. This negates all projectiles. It doesn't stay on the screen very long, but it's like an area where you can kind of like put do things that your opponent's not expecting. But if you really want time to actually work with it, you're going to want to meter burn it. Um, and now it will follow you. Again, it's not a very long time. It's like maybe half a second longer, but now you can kind of like walk people down with it. Um, then Ancient Trap is going to be like one of his best tools, in my opinion. It's a low projectile. The only thing is it does have a slow startup. You see 54 frames for it to actually activate. That's kind of annoying. But other than that, it's, it's a lot of fun to use because you're you're free to move after you throw it. You're completely free. And I can do combos like this, you know, and kind of do whatever I want. And people don't always check it. Sometimes in a zoning war, you know, you're doing stuff and then you throw this out, they forget to check and now they're eating a full combo. So that's pretty good. And then the final one's going to be Rain God. So Rain God's got a bunch of different options off of it, but we'll just be basic. Um, he, it's a mid hitting projectile. He can make it shoot really far if he wants to. Um, he can delay it. And then throw it out. He can can he can decide to cancel it and kind of kind of go in for stuff. I would say this is a good zoning tool. So only if your opponent is not in a position to throw a projectile back at you. Because the position that it leaves Rain in is airborne and any projectile is gonna touch his feet and he's gonna get it. You have to be careful with this. I normally I don't even really use this one, I'm gonna be honest. Only like to surprise my opponents. That's just me though. All right, so let's get into his anti-airs. So up first, we got standing two. So standing two is pretty good because of the fact that 
it kind of creates like a wall almost of him to guard him and he kind of ducks also when he does it so that's actually pretty neat then obviously we got down two so down two is 10 frames uh, a little on the slower side but it's has a huge range i think it's one of the best anteaters in the game personally just a little slower than other characters yeah standing three standing three creates like this little bubble and if you hit in the right spot it is going to let you combo you can get something like that off all right let's talk about some of his pokes so everybody's got their stand one this one again seven frames it's got a little bit more range and i think than other characters just because of the way he's standing the way he extends his arm his down one is also really good um, but it's not exactly where that water is it's where his hand is so his hand needs to make contact with the person's body and then it kind of look looks bigger than it is and you got back two, so back two works pretty well it moves you back and you're minus 12. but the cool thing about this move is that if you land it you get a geyser out of it you get like a launcher out of it and do your thing you got down three down three is really fast uh nine frames and it's got a lot of range the only thing i would say it is minus 11 on block minus 11 minus 12 in that range so be careful don't use this like right here because you probably will get traded with a down one and then you know you're kind of screwed there but uh do use it to kind of like you know poke at your opponent from here that's what we're here for right pokes and then finally i use back four back four is so good it's just such a good move it's such a cool looking move too but it's got a lot of range and it's a sweep it keeps your opponent like at, in, a, in the perfect range that you want even if they block it you know like you're you're in mid-range still you're minus three so i recommend spamming this thing if you can um so some of his stronger buttons so i'll include back four in there but uh, since we already talked about it let's go to forward two forward two is this is his only mid um at least starting mid he doesn't move forward he kind of just throws some water over it is minus seven so he's still technically safe but you can follow this up with uh forward two one and still minus seven but now they're a little further away so you could just throw this out and you'll be fine and the good thing about this is that it kind of works with everything right so after you get this low you can kind of do stuff like that you know you can get launcher and then so very good button and you got forward three so forward three is what people are going to be doing online mostly he's uh it's an overhead with the staff it is 28 frames it's a little on the slower side doesn't have a ton of range this is a button that you can cancel stuff out of so i'm gonna do it and then i just decide to throw you just spam the throw button and it interrupts me doing the actual hit so this could be like some cheeky round ending things where like your opponent's been blocking you overhead the whole time and you're like i'm good and then we'll go into some of his strings that are very strong in my opinion this one is god tier people don't know how to block this um it starts with a high it's a two two hitting high all right it's a stand two and then it goes one one right and then into the final hit which is two and it locks them back full screen and even if they block this thing look at the distance i've just made look at that it's incredible it is a dial in so you do have to hit both of those buttons the the square square or the one one then we got forward two one three right so we had mentioned before forward two one really good uh and then forward two one three it pushes them away as well you're minus six and you're probably a good, good enough distance um but yeah the cool thing is it knocks them back pretty far and then tried and true is going to be his forward three two just double overhead and it's going to be his launcher um you can get literally whatever the hell you want off of this in my experience people now know how to block this one because they've been getting hit by it so much but it's still it's still a very great sequence of buttons even by doing it you're minus five it's kind of crazy the amount of power that this string having and it being minus five the only drawback would be the startup it's not it's not all that fast but who cares because you could have a cameo blocking your startup then you're good so let's talk some of his weaknesses so we already went over that his movement's really not the best you know he kind of be he'd be walking around but he's not not very fast he's not like smoke where he's got a lot of fast stuff like fast walk speed you know he's a mid-range character he's a mid-range to zoner character so it's balanced that he's not going to be moving very fast 
Then he's also got the slow startup on his zoning tools. We had mentioned the this kind of beam. This is not super fast. This is not super fast. So in a zoning war, he might have some trouble. And his anteriors on the most part are kind of on the slower side. He doesn't really have a really quick one. He doesn't have like an eight framer, right? This is 16, this is 10, and this is also 10. So, so these are some things you could think of as far as the weaknesses. So the first cameo I chose is Goro. So Goro, he really has one main thing that he's really good at, which is this little Shokan punch, right? So I can do things like this and then kind of continue combos from there. So that's always nice. It also keeps it as like a really fast check. So depending on like the distance that you do it, if they're zoning you, you can hit them with this and then they're not expecting it or like really as you're landing. So you can get, you can do things like this. It's a great tool for rain. He could also get it off of some like really weird combos. If you time it right, like you can do things like this and see what you could do from there. But so that in and of itself is pretty, pretty decent for rain. And not that rain had safety issues, but it also keeps him safe on things that he might not be. And it just keeps a little, it puts a little space between you and your opponent. His looking up is really great because this second hit is a low. So if they're blocking low, right, or the grab whiffs if they're not blocking low, but because this string is always a low, you know, you can kind of just force them to do stuff. So normally I do this, and then you can kind of get your combos. Uh, then he's got a punch walk. Punch walk is decent. It's not really, nothing really stands out about it, but, you know, he's got it. Then he's got his Shokan Stomp. So if you're, like, you know, already scaring the opponent with, like, projectiles and things like that, now you have him with this, and... As they're waking up, you want to scare them. That was a horrible example, but you you understand that what you could do maybe with that. You time it right. So next we got Scorpion. So he can help you on things like your combo extensions, right? He also gives you that extra overhead option. So instead of doing this, you could do... And now they have to block that or else they're going to eat a lot of damage. And then he's got this really neat movement tool. So this is really good because of the fact that Rain is through and through his owner right so if your opponent does get in on you you can kind of just escape right? oh now i'm in a good spot now i could put maybe my shield i could do this you know so that little spear helps rain a lot and it's armored so that's even cooler right like let's say you don't even want to go in for damage you just want to get the hell out of there well now they have to take their zone so yeah, definitely experiment with Scorpion if you want to have more damage, have an escape option, and just mix up your opponent a little bit more. So my final cameo is going to be Sub-Zero. I personally think he's actually the best cameo to pair with Rain. So, you know, obviously Rain is a zoner and the ice armor makes it so that, you know, you don't have to worry about other people's projectiles. You kind of just throw stuff. His startup on his moves, uh, at least his zoning tools, doesn't really matter as much now because you can tank all of their fireballs. So that's really strong for rain. So the freeze and combos allows you to get full charges of this and then move on and keep doing things like that. Normally landing a fully charged beam is extremely difficult, especially to follow up when, you know, with things like this. But with Sub-Zero, you can do things like this. Right, and get that damage pretty easily. So then finally, you want to make some space from your opponent. You can kind of just... And now they've been pushed away. So that's cool. So you can, you know, put your big buttons like that or hit them with some more beams and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, try out Sub-Zero because, you know, this is pretty strong. These are all mid projectiles and he can kind of just tank any projectiles you're going to throw at him. So try them out. See how you like them. Let's talk a little bit about his ease of use. So as far as movement goes, he, the he is a little slow. You know, he's not the fastest character. He's not going to be someone like Smoke. He has the water gate that lets him kind of move around the screen, but it's not like you have to kind of plan how you use it. It's not very easy to use. It, it is a little bit of startup. You saw 79 frame startup for you to do that. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. So he does have extra, I guess, an extra movement option, but it's not something that I would say, yeah, yeah, go for it or that you need it. Strings, he doesn't have many, but the ones that he do, do have are godlike. 
you know they're all safe if they're not all safe then most of them are safe and they push them away which is great uh he doesn't have any forward advancing ones and there's one dial in string which is this but other than that his strings are so good his strings are i, I cannot complain about his strings so he's got a total of nine different special moves if we're including all the teleports and all that stuff um and a lot of them right like the teleports the, and the the gates and the, the beams they, they work together but i do wish that there was a little bit more flexibility with this like for example if i was able to store a charge like if i were to shoot a beam through this store a charge and then i don't know throw one out and it like it shoots hits them i think that'd be so cool and i feel like people would be experiencing with this a lot more but anyways that's just my kind of what i think the only issue would be the startup on his zoning so i would mentioned before that this is a zoning tool this is a zoning tool and then this is a zoning tool the fastest one is 34 frames that is ridiculously slow for a projectile i'm i believe scorpion spear is 20 frames so you're gonna get out zoned by scorpion and you already don't want to be zoning scorpion but he could out zone you if he wants to so you have to be careful with that his execution he does have some timing and some dashes depending on like what combo you're doing so for example the the standing four you have to know when to dash when you do something like this, you need to dash right there, you know. So there's a little bit of things you have to kind of keep in mind. Um, but the main thing is that like he's got a lot of specials to memorize that you gotta gotta do. Um, and then game plan. So you want to be in mid to far range. Like you want to hit with the whirlpool, um, so that you can get big damage. And then also, obviously, he wants to let you want to land your combo strings. Um, you could th just throw out your strings and you'll be fine. But landing them is gonna be so beneficial to you you know and he's got tools like yeah you can walk back and forth whatever but like your whole point is to like check them at a range where they can't hit you and you can hit them i wouldn't recommend playing him as like a whiff punisher uh just because of his movements not that fast but you know play him as a mid-range character and you'll be i think you'll be all right he's got a lot of options you know so i feel that rain can be really strong in the right hands it just requires you to put a little bit more effort into memorizing the timing of his moves you know the little micro dashes between combos uh, remembering the inputs so he's got a lot he's got some half circle inputs so you gotta remember and if you want to do some setups you also got to figure that out and finding unique ways to keep your opponent in the zone that you want his strengths in my opinion far outweigh the weaknesses that he's got and they're simple to overcome if you know what to look for so for that i'm gonna give rain three out of five stars if you have any rain tips and tricks or you want to let me know how I did, go ahead, drop it in the comments, leave a like and subscribe. This has been Enter Rain.